Welcome to the Egg Whisperer Show, a podcast exclusively designed to create more reproductive health awareness and discuss your fertility preservation options. Here is your host, the Harvard-educated fertility specialist, Dr. Amy. Thank you for joining me on tonight's Egg Whisperer Show. The topic is menopausal pregnancy, something that celebrities have been doing for decades, but no one's really been talking about it in a truthful way. So that's what I'm talking about this on tonight's show, because I'm sick and tired of people being misled, misguided, fooled, and duped, coming into my office with tears in their eyes saying, Dr. Amy, why is this a little dirty Hollywood secret that no one is talking about? Well, I'm going to talk about it. Me. That's what we're going to do tonight. Because isn't the definition of menopause when you can't get pregnant anymore? I mean, that's kind of what people think. When I say the words menopausal pregnancy, that's probably why you're like scratching your head and saying like, what the heck is she talking about? That's impossible. But the impossible is possible now through donated eggs and brews or eggs that you froze at a, at a younger age. My mom, uh, my mom's mom had her when she was a teenager, I think around 18. My mom had me when she was around 26. I had my firstborn at 32, and most patients that are coming to me are 40 when they're starting their family or growing it. So that means that most women in a generation will be in menopause. Their eggs will be gone when they're starting a family. That's what I predict. I mean, if you think about the trends, that's kind of where we're going. But technology hasn't changed. I don't have a tool in my toolbox to help women have babies when their eggs are gone, aside from donated eggs. I just don't. Or, of course, eggs that they froze. So... I want to educate people about this so that you're not that person waiting until you're 48 to have a baby just to do IVF with me to realize that there is no chance. And that's normal because menopause is normal. It's inevitable. We all run out of healthy eggs. It happens to everyone. And there's no amount of CoQ10, DHEA, HGH, or any supplement that you can take to regrow them. Get them back. PRP? I don't think so. Maybe stem cells one day. We can extract them from bone marrow and inject them into ovaries. But until then, what celebrities have been doing and no one realizes how, it's going to be a thing of the past. Because every time I see a story about a 53-year-old having a pregnancy through IVF, I'm going to hashtag that with menopausal pregnancy if they don't talk about the truth about where that pregnancy has come from. Because people are being misled by the promise of an easy time getting pregnant when literally it's biologically impossible to get pregnant when you don't have eggs left, unless you use donor eggs. So how is it possible? Well, we use hormones. You don't need periods to get pregnant. You don't. So we use hormones like estrogen and progesterone to thicken the lining to mimic pregnancy so that we can put an embryo inside the uterus so the uterus will accept it. So being 50 and being super healthy, sure. I'm not trying to make it seem like it's something that doesn't have complications because it definitely does. Preeclampsia, early delivery, hypertension, cardiac problems, The list goes on and on. But if a healthy woman wants to take on that risk, who am I to judge them? Because look, men can get pregnant forever. (laughs) No, they can't. Men can contribute to a pregnancy as long as they live. They can. But women, we just can't. And we think it's so cute when an older man is, you know, knocking up some 25-year-old. Good for him. Is Oh, that's so cute, is what we say. But when it happens when an older woman is doing it with a younger man, we're like, but that's not how I think about it. I think about it. You go, girl. You get that baby that you've always wanted and be a mom. You can bring the love into your life no matter how old you are. Don't let menopause stop you. But don't be fooled by these menopausal pregnancy stories, thinking that they're doing it in any other way. So if you've gone through menopause, that means literally your eggs are gone, people. Gone. Like, they're gone. That's what the definition of menopause is. And if someone's actually getting pregnant with a natural pregnancy and they have been told they're in menopause, it just means they really weren't quite there yet. But it doesn't mean your desire to be a mom disappears. I mean, I see it all the time. I have patients who come to me at 45, and they're like, I'm just not ready to say that I'm, I'm done. I want one more baby. Or they say, I, I still don't have a baby, and I want one. But I'm the first person to tell them, because no one else has told them the truth, that they're actually in menopause. And when I tell them that, it's not like all of a sudden they're like, oh, yep, okay, I'm in menopause, I'm all done. I'm done wanting another baby. That just doesn't happen. So talking to a fertility doctor like me, hello, hi, I'm here, Um, getting your fertility levels checked at a young age. Yes, you've heard of my egg whisperer golden rules. If you haven't, email me and and I'll send you the list. So these are all the things that you can do to prevent infertility, hopefully. I'm hoping to decrease the heartache, decrease the tears through these shows, and I'm hoping by talking about things that are true about how celebrities really get pregnant will stop fooling the 
not just American public and people, but people all over the world. Because the trends that we're seeing in the U.S. aren't just in the U.S. The trends are worldwide as far as how people are delaying childbearing and how late people are waiting to have kids. That's because we're living longer. It makes sense. I mean, most people reach menopause by the time they're 50, but a lot of people reach it even at 40. And that's normal. I tell people who come to me at 40, it's normal not to be able to have a kid. It is because most of your eggs are gone. That's what happens. That's biology. There's nothing wrong with you. And I said it earlier in the show that there's no amount of CoQ10, DHEA, or HGH that's going to really help you regrow healthy eggs. Maybe, maybe you're one of those people that will be lucky. But going into it, understanding what your options are, what your realistic chances are, what your levels say about you and your genetics, super, super important. Because I don't want the heartbreak to continue. I don't want people to come to me crying, literally crying, saying, I am so mad about this you know, celebrity story, again, it is such an emotional trigger. This dirty little secret in Hollywood just has to stop. And I don't want it to be a dirty little secret anymore. Menopausal pregnancy is a thing. It's a thing a lot of people do. And I'd like to kind of talk about it as if it's normal because it will be the new normal. It will. A generation to come, everyone's going to be, not everyone, but a lot of people are going to be having pregnancies when they've already run out of eggs because they froze their eggs. For now, most people are doing it because they you know, are using donated eggs. But until more people have frozen their eggs and have waited another 10 years or so to get pregnant, this is kind of going to be a thing that everyone should know about. And people say to me things like, you know, Dr. Amy, I'm 43 and all my patients who are 40 are getting pregnant. So I don't understand why are you telling me that my chances of pregnancy are 4%? And what I say to patients is based on their individual fertility levels, not just based on what their friend's fertility is or what they tell me about their sister or their mom. But fertility really does change between each year, whether you're 40, 41, 42. And I wish I could say it gets better. I wish I could say that if you ate really healthy for three months and three months, it'll get better. Or if you took a supplement for three months and three months from now, it'll get better. Those things just aren't true. So I want to talk about menopause, normalize it, make sure people understand that it's not a disease, accept it, and know that you don't need ovaries to get pregnant. They don't need to be working. You don't need periods. You don't need fallopian tubes. You just need a uterus and healthy embryos. And one day I'm going to say, you'll need a man who will want a uterine transplant. But until then, you know, I'll just have to joke about that. So still the phrase menopausal pregnancy is going to be confusing to people. And the main reason why it's confusing is because people think of getting pregnant as something that has to do with having periods and being in menopause means you don't have periods anymore, but you can mimic ovulation with hormones. That's what we do. We give women hormones all the time. They're recipes that we follow. Estrogen for a couple of weeks, then overlapping with progesterone, and then you do a transfer. You take an embryo and put it into a uterus. And so if you're super healthy, if you are fit, if you have, let's say, normal cholesterol mammogram, depending on your age, a normal EKG, a cardiac stress test, if all your preconception labs are normal, your fertility doctor is going to clear you for a pregnancy depending on your age, whether it's 40, 45, even 50. So talk to a fertility doctor, talk to them about your options and go into it with a really, really open mind because whether or not you want to get pregnant over a certain age doesn't necessarily have to do with whether your eggs are gone or not. So I was going to put a list together of all the celebrities who've had a menopausal pregnancy. I mean, it's very, very obvious to me. And then I put the list together and then I said, you know, I'm going to delete it because who the heck am I to, to talk about other people and their pregnancies? Although sometimes I do. I, I love to celebrate people who actually talk about the fact that they use donated eggs. And there's certainly a lot of celebrities that do. The other day on Twitter, I was talking about a woman in Australia, a celebrity there who got pregnant, had a baby at 52, I think. And she was very open about how she did that with donated eggs. And I applauded her with talking about her menopausal pregnancy so that other people can not feel like somehow doctors have these superpowers and the ability to create eggs when all eggs are gone. But at the same time, every pregnancy is natural. It really is, no matter how it was achieved. So I also believe that it's not up to me to tell someone that they're, or tell a kid that they're from a donated egg before their parents have told them. So that's why I think it's important for me to be a little careful and a little bit sensitive around these topics. So when it comes to being a parent, there is only one requirement. And I want you to listen to me very carefully. Love is required and your DNA is optional. That's how menopausal pregnancy pretty much almost always occurs on People Magazine, online, when celebrities are talking about their pregnancies in their 60s. Medicine, IVF medicine is definitely full of miracles, I think. But the miracle has not 
occurred yet that we can create eggs in a menopausal woman when they're all gone. So I hope you learned a lot from this show. I hope you'll tell all your friends and be like, oh my God, you can have a pregnancy when you're in menopause because if you didn't know, I want you to know. And then tell your friends to get their levels checked and learn about my egg whisperer golden rules. And that's just basically getting your levels checked by a certain age, freezing your eggs, depending on how old you are. If you're partnered, freezing embryos sooner than later so that you can have the family size that you want and not shed the tears that so many of my patients shed. And I shed them with my patients as well. Thank you guys for watching tonight. I hope you learned a ton and I'll see you next week. Good night. Thank you so much for listening and making the Egg Whisperer show a part of your weekly routine. To find show notes and a full transcript for this episode, visit dramy.org and look under the blog tab. While you're there, you can find a link for the Egg Whisperer newsletter, which keeps you in the know about fertility news. You can also find Dr. Amy and the Egg Whisperer show on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. If you'd like to learn even more, Dr. Amy offers classes at the Egg Whisperer School, eggwhispererschool.com, or you can request a consultation on dramy.org. Thank you so much for tuning in and for sharing the Egg Whisperer show with others. Keep sparkling and have a great day.